Hello, my name is Dr. John Burke, and I'm a hematologist and medical oncologist at Rocky Mountain Cancer Center. My clinical practice focuses on patients with blood cancers, including those with polycythemia vera, or PV. PV is a rare, slow-growing blood cancer. While PV is not curable, it is treatable. With proper management, most people living with PV can enjoy a long life. In fact, in the U.S. today, there are approximately 100,000 people living with PV. By sharing important information about PV and its symptoms, we hope to help you understand it better. To begin, let's go over what PV is, how it affects your body, and how it's diagnosed. PV is caused by a mutation in a gene called JAK2, which is present in almost all PV cases. This mutation leads to an increased number of blood cells, causing the blood to thicken. Thickened blood doesn't move well through smaller blood vessels. As a result, people with PV have an increased risk of experiencing blood clots and other symptoms. PV can be diagnosed using blood tests or a bone marrow biopsy. If you have PV, your blood test will show elevated levels of red blood cells, often tested by measuring your hematocrit and hemoglobin. You may also experience abnormal platelet and white blood cell counts. Symptoms of PV may change over time, complicating disease management difficulty concentrating, fatigue, feeling full too early when eating, inactivity, and itchiness are the most common symptoms first noticed by people living with PV. PV symptoms can be influenced by many factors, including clinical events, comorbidities, and side effects from treatments. That's why it's important to learn about your PV symptoms early on, monitor them carefully, and discuss any changes in your symptoms with your doctor as soon as possible to help track disease progression. Proper management of PV can help prevent symptoms from having a negative impact on your quality of life. There are several tools that people with PV can use to track their symptoms and rate the impact these symptoms have on their lives. Keeping track of your symptoms is helpful to identify new or changing PV symptoms. Remember that these changes could be a sign of disease progression. Tools, such as the Voices of MPN Tracker, may be helpful to monitor your symptoms over time. Performing clinical research to study PV helps us to learn more about the disease, ensuring that people with PV can make informed decisions to better manage chronic issues they experience. Beginning in 2020, results from the first ever large real-world observational clinical study on PV in the U.S., called REVEAL, were published. Sponsored by Insight, this study followed over 2,500 people with PV for three to five years, and it assessed the course of disease and overall impact on participants. More than 200 academic and community medical centers throughout the U.S. enrolled participants, ensuring that the study represented a diverse range of people with PV. I will share some key insights from the REVEAL study that could help to improve clinical care. Here is what the study revealed about diagnosis and health history. One, at diagnosis, many people with PV had elevated blood counts. 58% had elevated hematocrit, 29% had elevated platelet counts, and 20% had elevated white blood cell counts. Two, of those tested, 96% of people were positive for the JAK2 V617F mutation. Three, at the time they entered the REVEAL study, 19% of people had a history of a blood clot. Here is what the REVEAL study uncovered about PV symptoms and lived experiences. 1. 93% of people with PV reported at least one symptom when they started the study. 2. The top five most common symptoms included fatigue, feeling full after a small amount of food, inactivity, itchiness, and problems with concentration. Fatigue was the most frequently reported symptom, with 80% of participants experiencing at least mild fatigue. Three, symptoms associated with PV had a negative impact on quality of life, work productivity, and daily activities. In fact, 20% of people in the study reported impairment in their daily activities. Four, Women with PV showed higher symptom severity than men, even though there were no sex-associated differences in blood counts. Five, controlling blood counts with treatment may not improve symptom control. 
For me and for my patients, the REVEAL study continues to shed light on how people living with PV experience the disease. Sharing those experiences can help others to make more informed decisions about their own journey with PV. I encourage you to continue learning about PV and talk to your healthcare provider about how much PV is affecting your quality of life. Analysis of the REVEAL study results is ongoing and we continue to understand more about people living with PV through this study. Thank you so much for watching today. Be well.